A 45 year old male presented to emergency room with a massive upper GI bleed. On physical examination, he has mild splenomegaly. In the absence of other information available, which of the following is the most appropriate therapeutic modality for this patient? Now, this is an interesting question where some of you might be thinking that, okay, this is a case of upper GI bleed. So mostly very sealed bleeding, right? Okay, uh, because there is a splenomegaly also. But you should be careful about the language of the examiner. Examiner has mentioned here, right, in the absence of other information available, which of the following is the most appropriate? If you had complete information that patient was suffering from very sealed cases, right, that was the root cause, or if there was a known case of portal hypertension, then answer would have been somatostatin. But here, you don't have complete information. First, being a junior doctor, what is your duty? Whenever you are getting a patient in emergency, first of all, you have to maintain airway, breathing and circulation. Okay, upper GI bleed, airway, breathing. If these two are clear, then what? Circulation, IV fluid management. Okay, now antacid should be given as soon as possible, as soon as you receive the patient in hospital, because whenever there will be upper GI bleed, whenever there will be more stress, there will be more and more secretion of hydrochloric acid, right? Hydrochloric acid. Is it to understand? So whenever there will be more release of acid and patient was having upper GI bleed, so acid can damage it more, right? So first, medicine to be given out of these four options yes you have to start with antacid ppi right so that you can stop further damage after that when you have to like when you are going to stabilize the patient after that you are going to take further investigations and then you are going to start further management but first line of management iv fluid right antacid antibiotics after that you are going to start other investigations easy to understand